Well, it's time for our technology segment and joining us now is Africa 54 Tech reporter Paul Dio. Take it away, Paul. Uh, thanks, uh, Vincent. The penetration of mobile wallet services in East Africa has evolved from just a simple send and receive service to a fully digital cashless platform. Users now pay for goods and services without money exchanging hands. Ruth Namatovo in Uganda takes a look at how this technology is competing with traditional banks in Kampala. When you walk around Kampala shops these days, you find many signs of digital payment platforms displayed in many businesses, both large and small. These cashless formats have been deemed safe, reduce vulnerability to insecurities of being robbed, and improved economic cash flows. Thanks to plans by Bank of Uganda to reduce the use of paper notes and checks in the country by the year 2022, the MTN Group, Africa's largest network operator, has evolved its mobile wallet platforms from just paying for utility services to paying for goods in the shops and online via the MomoPay platform, making it Uganda's largest digital payment platform. There was an outcry of people wanting to go the cashless way, but they didn't have any other way of doing it. I had to first withdraw the money before I make a payment. So Emoji MomoPay came to create that convenience for both the customers and the business owners in a cashless format. Since the introduction of the MomoPay service in November 2017, MTN Uganda, with over 11 million subscribers, has already registered over 80,000 businesses, offering customers a variety of payment options to choose from while shopping. One is using a USSD, that is a short string of star 165 star 3 hash, enter the merchant code of the car, the match of the place, enter amount of money, enter the PIN, and money will be moved from your account to the business account. Then the other, the other format is uh, the latest QR code system. I walk to a shop, I can scan and pay. Then the third one is where we have integrated into the business owners sales platforms and it's instantly I receive a notification on my phone and also the business owner receives a notification. These cashless digital platforms allow users to shop at florist stands, supermarkets, even at restaurants and other places without money changing hands. I don't have change issues where I'm giving cash and when I'm balancing it's easier. I've used it for the first time here at ShopRite, it's much faster. I also use it when I'm going for my movies, to borrow my films, to even pay for fuel. So it has helped me quite a lot, it's very very convenient so I really appreciate it. A cashless society in East Africa or anywhere else in the world offers real benefits to the economy that can be felt both by the state and its citizens. In Uganda here, yeah, mobile money has contributed to the increase of, of financial inclusion from 20% in 2001 to, um, to 80% now. But these mobile money technologies also face new competition from traditional banks that have developed their own banking apps that offer digital transactions over the phone. There are also other deficiencies in the cashless formats that need addressing by both users and regulators. We should worry about how the government can control inflation in the presence of mobile money. Uh, since not every mobile money account is linked to a bank account. Nevertheless, analysts believe that promoting a cashless society is the way to go. With reporter Ruth Namatovu, I am Safra Bahumura for The Voice of America, Kampala, Uganda. That's uh, today's uh, Take a Report. Uh, back to you, Vincent. Well, thanks, Paul. I mean, those kind of, uh, that kind of a story is telling us uh, something. Yeah, the African youth especially are uh, engineering this leapfrogging into the future, what do you say? My friend, there is no need to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. We just have to leapfrog to the future. Yes. And uh, as you've seen with M-Pesa in Kenya, now this is kind of growing uh, throughout the continent, is that uh, Africans have discovered how to go around the obstacles they have, like lack of banking in some of the places. Using the mobile phone, you have everything now.
Uh, absolutely. To be honest with you, this uh, technology that uh, we are looking at would not be possible if it wasn't for M-Pesa. I think M-Pesa has opened up the market for almost every single person out there who knows how to use technology. And uh, uh, even to look at it broadly, uh, you see a lot of people now, companies, there's what they call fintech, they're investing more into this kind of technology because that's the future. Yes. So apparently, you know, Africans are not, no longer but left behind when it comes to uh, development in terms of the technology we are at par with the rest of the world uh, in terms of mobile technology yeah. you're absolutely right because uh, uh, mobile technology has been in africa for at least over 25 years yeah. and uh, they have been improving over over and over again very impressive thank you yeah. very much paul yeah. for another fabulous uh, tech uh, segment you. well and that uh, just be sure to join paul and Dio each wednesday for another segment of technology here on africa 54 and that's our show for today. Now be sure to watch Africa 54 on our website at voaafrica.com. From all of us here in Washington, have a good evening.